Hello. Now that we're done with the uh, content of the chapter, we can just practice what they taught us with some more questions. This one reads, A current I flows to the right through a rectangular bar of conducting material in the presence of a uniform magnetic field B pointing out of the page. A. If the moving charges are positive, in which direction are they deflected by the magnetic field? This deflection results in an accumulation of charge on the upper and lower surfaces of the bar, which in turn proceed to produce an electric force to counteract a magnetic one. Equilibrium occurs when the two exactly cancel. B. Find the resulting potential difference, this is the whole voltage, between the top and the bottom of the bar, in terms of B, V, the speed of the charge, and the relevant dimensions of the bar. And C. How would your analysis change if the moving charges were negative? The Hall effect is a classic way of demonstrating the sign of mobile charge, charge carriers in a material. Well, clearly this Hall effect is very important and we'll see more later. Or if you've studied material science, you'll see this over and over again. Um, so let's draw it out. We have a, a diagram here with the current moving to the right. Uh, with W length L and a magnetic field coming out of the page um, with a height T. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, chug away at this. So for part A, if the positive charges flow to the right, they are deflected down. We know that from uh, the force equation. Um, and the bottom plate acquires the positive charge. Makes sense. So if B... Or for part B, when they equate, we cancel out the Q for uh, the force equation. And uh, we're left with VB equal E, but we want the potential difference voltage. So V equal ET, which is equal to VBT, with the bottom at, with the bottom at higher potential. All right, fair enough. And that's T for the dimension, not time, by the way. Um, and C... If negative charges flow from left, flow to the left, excuse me, they are also deflected down, and the bottom plate acquires negative charge. The potential difference is still the same, but this time the top plate is at a higher potential. So we just switch sides, switch directions, and you're good to go.